Hi everyone, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the compressor and there's two types of compressor the regular tier 1 compressor that sits along with the electric furnace and the macerator that we've already looked at and then the singularity compressor which is the upgrade to that and sits with the induction furnace and the the rotary macerator now the recipes the, uh, the first one you need a machine block and remember that's eight refined iron in a square and six stone with an electronic circuit so that is pretty much following the same kind of template as the rest of the early machines the upgrade to that, again following a very similar template to the other advanced machines, is the advanced machine block on the bottom, compressor in the middle, with obsidian around it. Now, as with all the other machines, the compressor will uh, take upgrades. It has the same operation length as the other basic machines. And it takes uh, two EU a tick input. Now that can be upgraded so you can add overclockers and transformer upgrades to use higher power because it starts off with low voltage. You can also increase the amount of energy it will store in there. Uh, what you'll use most often is overclockers and transformer upgrades. So what you can actually do, some of the things that you can compress snowball as you can see takes an extremely long time to, to process but it is very early on so once you get a few upgrades on there that'll start whizzing along much like the furnace and the macerator that I showed you before with uh, lots of upgrades I won't show you that again this time because it's basically the same demonstration just with the machine doing something else uh, the singularity compressor again what we need on here we need a lever to get this going uh, if you don't put a lever on it will work but it's gonna go slow um, while the pressure builds up it's gonna use a lot of power and as you see extremely slow I should probably, if I take that out of there, that will, uh, you can see just exactly how much EU it's using just to do one operation with it, with it not warmed up. So, the, as, as I've demonstrated, the, uh, the things you can do, you can compress snowballs into ice, the plant balls into compressed plants. Advanced alloys for mixed alloy ingots. There's several recipes, these are only a couple of them. Cold chunks. Let's actually get a signal on there. The cold chunks you can uh you can compress into a uh, diamonds. Once this is going full speed it will go as quickly as uh, the the rotary macerator was going and the induction furnace. I play with the version of the advanced machines that doesn't have upgrade slots and this runs on medium voltage straight out of the box. Now if you were going to break these blocks, if you're going to break them without without using um, a wrench with the basic one you're going to get a machine block back and not your machine and if you break the other one you're going to get a machine block as well now they're very expensive machines so you want to make sure that you're using an electric wrench so you get your electric wrench you hold M, right click make sure you're in lossless mode and then you can pick that up with a right click and get your machine back. Now, if you don't do that, then uh, you're gonna end up losing some pretty expensive parts. So bear that in mind when you when you go and uh, try moving all your stuff. 
Okay, see how high this up. This will go up to I think it's I think it's eight thousand PSI. Let's see. You can see already that's going a lot quicker. A lot lot quicker. So that's the compressors. Um they do have quite a few recipes that can go in there and mods are adding uh, uses for these all the time so let me know in the comments below if I've missed anything out uh, and hit me up on the subscribe button and over at Twitch TV every night I'm streaming 7 o'clock so catch me there and I'll see you next time